A warm welcome to the training videos from Mady Orthopedics. The following film will give you helpful hints on patient care with the Mady M4S Comfort Knee Brace. The M4S Comfort is mainly used for ligamentous injuries in the knee joint. The knee brace ensures the necessary stability after surgery and during conservative treatment, especially in association with cruciate ligament ruptures. The sophisticated frame system ensures optimum stabilization of the knee joint based on the four-point principle, that is, after rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament. Furthermore, the physio-glide joint imitates the rolling gliding movement of the knee joint to guarantee that the orthosis fits perfectly. The additional option of limiting extension and flexion protects the affected knee joint from damaging movements and thus maintains the patient's treatment status. To determine the right size of the orthosis, please measure the circumference of the affected leg 15 centimeters above the middle of the knee joint on the medial side. Then you can select the suitable product from the size chart. The orthosis can now be adjusted. 10 degree extension wedges and 90 degree flexion wedges are pre-installed in the M4S Comfort. The wedges define the radius of movement of the knee. To change the wedges, press the hinge cover at the back outwards to the side. Take the tweezers out of the hinge cover and use them to pull the wedges out of the hinge. All the wedges are marked with their respective settings in degrees for clear identification. Always slide the silver colored extension wedges into the hinge from the front and the black flexion wedges from the back so the markings up on the hinge and the wedge match. An audible click confirms that the wedge is locked in. Now move the orthosis hinges and check the right position. Click the tweezers back into their holder and then secure the hinge covers by hooking the two tabs on the hinge cover into the front of the hinge and then pressing the cover onto the hinge. An audible click confirms it fits securely. Then move the hinge of the orthosis and check that it functions properly. Only the technician treating the patient may change the extension and flexion limits. In order to avoid hyperextension, extension wedges or zero degree wedges must always be inserted. If necessary, the wedges can also be changed while the patient is wearing the orthosis. The MADE bending tool can be used to help mold the orthosis closely to the patient to guarantee the best possible fit. This prevents painful pressure areas and guarantees the best comfort in wear. Please note the following points when adjusting the orthosis. Avoid damaging the hinges at all costs. The hinges should never get between the two bending tools. Always isolate the hinge from damaging forces by placing the counterpart in front of the hinge. The closer you set the bending tools together, the more acutely the orthosis frame bends. Increase the distance between the bending tools to achieve a softer correction line. Always use rounded bending tools to avoid damaging the frame. Remember that a closed system like a rigid frame brace can only be bent a certain amount. Mold the orthosis in small increments to match the contour of the leg and avoid overcorrection. Replaceable pads can also be used on the medial sides. This guarantees that the orthosis fits perfectly even on very thin knees or when swelling varies. The orthosis should be worn directly next to the skin to ensure the best possible fit. Make sure that all the straps are open. To prevent incorrect fastening of the Velcro straps, it's recommended to close them again afterwards. It's best if the patient sits on the edge of a chair. Pull the orthosis over the leg and bend the knee to 45 degrees. Position the orthosis so that the middles of the hinges are at the level of the superior border of the kneecap. Make sure that the orthosis is not twisted on the leg. 
The straps should be secured in the order specified by the numbers to guarantee the orthosis fits securely and has the optimum effect. Start with straps one and two. The knee should stay bent. Now push both orthosis hinges backwards towards the back of the leg. Make sure that the hinges are positioned behind the lateral medial midline of the leg. Now fasten straps three, four, five, and six. Please note that the pads on strap number four are split. These can be positioned around the scar if needed, in order to avoid unnecessary pressure on a possible surgical scar. It is now recommended to walk a few steps and check again that the orthosis fits properly. As you can see, the middle of the orthosis hinge should be positioned at the level of the superior border of the kneecap and behind the lateral medial midline of the leg. Then, pull the straps tight again in the same order to prevent the orthosis slipping. If the orthosis does slip, please check that the orthosis hinge is correctly positioned at the level of the superior border of the kneecap. Check the position of the calf strap number five. This should cross above the widest part of the calf muscle. Add padding to the inner surfaces of the knee hinges using the extra padding supplied with the orthosis. Wear the orthosis directly next to the skin whenever possible. The inner pads and condyle pads can be washed by hand in cold water and a mild soap solution. Leave them to dry in the air. Matey, I feel better.